Hey guys, I am here. I feel bad. <laughs> oh, I've got a bad migraine, so I might be a little bit slow today. Fair warning. Actually, I should hit the record button. We might as well get started, and I'll talk about it as we go along. Oh, wait, no, I already did. Well then, hi. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got probably one of the worst migraines I've had in a while. I don't know. It's been really bad lately. I think I've been sleeping poorly. Um... Congestion, uh, the facility across the way becoming increasingly uh, louder on a given nightly basis, uh, and a bunch of other things, and so I'm just like, eh, today. I was originally actually planning on having Shell play this, and I still think I want her to play this at some point. And thank you, Manitoban Misanthrope, for the four bits. It is appreciated. One for every bit of... Otrin I've taken today. Uh, let's see. Um, but yeah, so I just... I've just been, like, zombie man the whole day. It just sucks. I don't like being zombie man. So now what do we do? So you just logged in to watch as usual, and now I'm sub to wander, and I didn't do it. Yeah, it's because, um... It's because... Uh, somebody was giving out mods yesterday. Like a nice person. Or not mods. Uh, somebody, somebody was handing out subs yesterday like a nice person. Man, I am not here right now. That's okay. Anyway, if Shell were to play this, would she play it on modded? Probably not. I'm not even sure if she would play it, uh, period. Or if I'd just kind of do it without her. Uh, or not. If I'm just going to do this series and she'll play it someday, eventually, when I convince her to. I don't know. Um, I, I can't say. Originally, that was going to be the plan, but I'm... It's not that I feel better... It's that I only feel good when I'm recording, because I don't notice that I have a splitting migraine. Uh, I think this is one of the ways that I've just kind of learned to manage it, or ish. How it's like turned out that I manage it of just like, yeah, I just, if I'm feeling garbage, I just stream for a while. And what do you know, it, it works. So let's grab some ion power everything. Oh... Hmm. I'm gonna grab... Well, I mean, if I got the resources for it, do we just go bananas? We could. Okay, so we can't get more of those right now. I guess first order of business, easiest order of business, hatching enzymes. So what do we need? Eye stock seed, sea crown seed, fungal sample, ghost weed, bulb brush. Well, first order of business, easiest thing I can do. I'm going to put some windows in here. Oh, I see. It's already been queued. There we go. Uh. Huh. Okay. I accidentally layered windows. Somehow. Happens. Yeah. Might as well have a nice view of everything that's going on outside. And thank you, Ditches, for the 12 month resub. This is the big one year uni uh, university. Anniversary. Been quite the ride, and here's, here's to good wishes for the year to come. Yeah, I think things are going to be a lot better this this year. I mean, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I don't like to flare on the mellow, uh, melodramatic, but I had kind of a crappy year this, this year. Nothing, like, disastrous, but definitely a lot of, like, kind of just bleh, stuff. And so I'm definitely in the, like, yeah, I hope it goes well for me. Thank you, uh, Shlomi Ha, for the nine-month resub as well. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all of you. Hope you guys are having a gooder New Year's ish thing. How do we do this? Hmm. So I'm in a funky position. I guess we could take the Cyclops out. Leave the Leave Earthworm Tim here. 
Because I want a prawn. I mean, I guess what I could do is just hack up a prawn so I don't have to go up to the surface to get a prawn. It's really tempting. I really wish you could just make a vehicle down here. Mm. What's required to make a, a prawn anywhere? Prawn suit is aerogel, plasteel, lead, diamond. I mean, realistically... We can do this. I've got more than enough on this guy. Oh! You know, that's the other thing I haven't done. Well, let's pull out the uh, power cells in here. Let's let's replace them with the uh, ion power cells. Then once we get up to the, the big base, I'll probably replace them with even higher. 1,000 for 200. Holy butts, this thing can uh, go for forever if I replace all of those. All of these good? Yeah. Okay. So we want to do we want to do this. You, I want to make a thermal reactor module. I need two polyaniline, four kyanite, and a wiring kit. Let's get that first. If I can get this thing to actually charge in a thermal place, that will be good. So what do we have in our inventory? First and foremost, I've got the phyllid bu seeds. I think these are violet views, yeah. Um, hmm. I guess let's just drop off a lot of the things we probably don't need. I've also got a creature egg that I don't know what to do with, so I'll just store it as well. Uh, pair of power cells. Let's get rid of the pair, pair of power cells, the kyanite. Still got a bunch of batteries, one of which is out of juice. Two of which are out of juice, so let's, let's start powering those. There's a lot of things I didn't do last night, because I didn't feel like doing it, and I didn't feel good anyway. Seamoth Solar Charger. Seamoth Sea Claw. I guess I should go drop these things off in the actual Seamoth. Let's see, so how did I just get eye on? Uh, I've got... Uh, let's see. Oh, this is the wrong vehicle storage. I've got a alchemy mod that lets me grow... Uh, plants and other resources and effectively I can oh I know what I could do very quickly let's hop in the sea moth I've got an idea uh, I can effectively grow all of these plants and then convert them into say ion cubes for example it's more than a little bit overpowered I will admit but it saves me a lot on farming or, well, I am farming instead of farming, and it is kind of nice. Okay, so we want to hang a right out here. Now, is the Ghost Reaper still in this area? I don't remember there being a Ghost Reaper in this room back in the day. It is directly above me, isn't it? And there he is. Oh. I've actually never been in this room. Looks like it's another set of exits. I can go down it for a little bit. Because I do want to fill it in. Yeah, stick it in the... Oh. This is a new zone. No, 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 this is this is the zone with all the jerk octopi. Yeah. So that's just a that's just a notable exit out. Okay, so we want to keep going because it's over here. There's like a little nook with some tech and maybe something interesting in it. And then we should probably figure out where the heck that plant, those remaining plants are. Because, yeah, I think we can beat this tonight.
Let's see. Should probably slow down. It is actually having loading problems for a bit. Okay, so it's it's over here, and I don't think we have to worry about Reapers coming to bite me. It was it was in this room. Right, yeah, there it is. It's just like a random door over here. Somewhere. Oh no, this is the exit. We want... It's on the opposite side. There it is. Because I don't know what... Yep. Yep. It's just a little laggy because I'm going a little bit fast. Okay, so let's drop this off. Well, it doesn't look like there's anything horrible in here. Crab claw kelp. A blue tip kelp species which tends to grow in or near to acidic brine pools on the ocean floor. These brine pools are hazardous to most life forms, where the crab claw is adapted by developing a thick and flexible root system which can withstand the environment, which raises the sensitive blue feeding nodules above the level of brine. If it works. Alright, alien bone specimen case. So yeah, this looks more like just true museum, nothing else. So mixed leviathan fossils. These fossils likely came from, an a from the ancient ancestors of the leviathans, which inhabit the planet today. The relative size and delicacy of the bones suggests that they formed part of the ear canal or some other complex internal structure. Fauna reproductive data. Extensive alien research on the local fauna with a special focus on their reproductive methods or conclusions have been synth uh, synth synthesized. Can't word today. The aliens discovered the life forms on the planet of just one sex. They observed local organisms engaging in asexual reproduction. All healthy individuals were test tested were capable of egg laying. Eggs usually required genetic material from another of the species. In rare cases, only one parent was required, with evolutionary mutation introduced by the effects of the environment itself. Research appears to have been focused around hatching conditions and genetic variations between parent and child. Oh hey! Hi, Aunt Cubes! Those are handy. And research equipment. Including another cuddle body! Okay, research equipment. Large laboratory table. Accompanying scanners. Incorporate technologies far beyond our current level of understanding. Hypothesis, equipment maintenance, staff maintenance, specimen analysis, and specimen gene manipulation. Still got plenty of oxygen. That's good. Okay, alien flora research. Local plants being held in stasis. The aliens evidently sought an extensive knowledge of the planet's ecosystem, which would have been necessary to support any live specimen research. Okay, so let's hang out in the sea moth for a second, and then see if there's anything immediate that I need to get my hands on in the area. So whatever happened in the first cuttlefish, it's hanging out near my base, unless it despawned. I don't know if it does or doesn't. Okay, so we need eye stalk, fungal sample, ghost weed, and bulb brush. vibrating ever so slightly here and it's just kind of annoying okay so we don't want fauna oh I probably haven't scanned a bunch of these I stock we know where those are So we don't know fungal sample, ghost weed seed, and bulb brush. So that means I should probably just start zipping around looking for things I haven't scanned before. Hmm. Hmm. The other thing we could do is get the prawn. I think let's go with the, uh... Let's go get the prawn first.
Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to take out the speed modules from this thing. It doesn't need them that bad, and uh, it'll prevent the game from lagging. Because 300% is a little bit too fast for how fast this game loads. Yeah, so he's always just going to be right there. Unless I kill him. We could do that. It would take some time, but I could kill a ghost leviathan. Oh. Well, I found ghost weed. Okay, so we've got the we've got the ghost weed. Fungal sample though. Not seeing What is this actually? That's table coral. There's apparently table coral here. Wow, they really do kind of just give you everything down here. Maybe not enough for the enzymes, but the resource distribution is actually pretty sweet. That guy was spinning. Neat trick. Okay, so that gives us what? A solid two, maybe three. Okay, let's pop out. Do I... Yes. I did, I did put down a... Uh, a sea crown. I'm gonna put down a, a second grow bed here just in case I do something criminally stupid and make like a major mistake and destroy destroy it. Honestly, I should probably move that previous one over a little bit. I'm not strapped for space. So I'm not going to try. Okay. So sea crown. And then... I put all of the seeds in here. I got, I'm not going to say foolishly. Okay, and let's put the, the sea moth in here too. Or not the sea moth, the ghost weed. Alright, so that's a handful. Uh... How many other resources here? Because no, that's that's just a gel sack. Yeah, so we're gonna have to look around a little bit more. Um I guess well we've got the inventory space. Oops. Is that the that's the wrong creep vine? Just gonna quickly grab a an, uh, an amount of resources. Because no, no matter what, we're going to need them all. Okay, and then you're the special receptacle one. I'll just put that in for the time being. Um, hmm. Let's see, we can do this. Let's see, how do you get mods working? Uh, they don't work for you. If you're using Epic's Game Launcher, you actually... I don't know. I can't help you on that one, I'll admit. Let's see, can we can we make a bunch of these? We need gold. Oh. Cause I'd like to start getting the uh ion battery batteries for my entire setup instead. Uh, let's see, what do I need for silver ore? We need copper and brain coral. So probably brain coral. They're working on a compatibility patch. I know that much. Uh Q mods is. But I can't uh I can't tell you whether or not it's going to be uh, anytime soon. As, you know, I have, obviously I don't really have my ear to the ground that hard with, uh, with the Subnautica modding industry. Or industry? Community. 
But yeah, there might be Reddit, there might be some other things. My assumption is, uh, you might have to wait. Or just get it on Steam. I think it's still on sale for a little while, but... I realize that that might not be the answer people want. And we might want to get the, uh, the proper swim fins while we're up there. Or anywhere, honestly. I guess I could, I could make just the, the basic, uh, I, I want the charge fins. Because if I can actually charge my tools while I'm swimming around, with the exception of the, with the exception of the sea glide, we might actually be able to just go around and do whatever we want. I can apparently, apparently make quite a lot of these. Sorry if I'm popping a little bit. I don't, I don't know. I gotta move my mic or something. We have a lot of batteries. Okay. Yeah, so we'll get rid of the regular batteries at this point. This should last a nice long time if we're lucky. Yeah, five times as long. That sounds good. Let's see, do we have just enough ion batteries? It actually looks like we we do. We have just enough batteries for the uh for the entire set. So I should probably make two more. Oh, that's an ion power cell. No, well, that's fine. That's that's fine. I might put that on the sea moth actually. Then again, the sea moth pretty much is never going to run out of juice anyway. Oh. On a wrist brace. I'm a sea of maladies right now. And it's unfortunate. Let's see. Have we hatched them yet? Did I miss the babies? Nope, you've not missed the babies. I'm going to be goofing for a little while. How much is there much after the uh the hatching or does the game pretty much end at that point? Let's see. Cuz I actually have no idea. I'm assuming we we need more than just the babies to uh to cure ourselves. We should get some melons. Okay, so that should be enough to fill this one out. And this one out, and we can get some more water. It might not be a bad idea to get one of the uh, water generators while we're here. Put that out all the way out there. Eh. Okay, so after hatching, you just need to make the rocket no more story. Wow, so we really are right at the end game if I wanted to. I'm not super immediately motivated, to be totally honest. I'm like, I know I know I could like just blitz for the end. But that's less fun. Okay, so we need everything, I think. So I need kyanite, which means I need quartz. To get quartz, I need creep vine samples. Yep, there's our answer. I need creep vine. Okay, so we're just gonna... We're just going to grab some more resources. No, no. Oops, inventory is full. Okay. Drop these things off. They're already old. That is so, like... I'm gonna say wild to me that they just, like... They grow up that fast. Okay, so we still need a little bit more... For gold or silver? Creep vine seed clusters. There's the answer. Are we talking about the Leviathan babies? Yeah, we're talking about the Leviathan babies. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could probably beat this within the next, like, hour. If I just... Uh, bypassed making the prawn entirely and just went uh, super speed mode on the sea moth. I could, but I like, I feel like I should make a prawn.
and kit it out with everything possible. Just because. Uh, let's see. So let's get another ion battery. I guess one thing we could do. Okay, so there's two batteries. We've got the power cell. Why don't we make... Can I make several more of these? I'm going to make a couple of cubes. So we need uranite crystals. I need jelly shroom spores. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head back and trigger all of those teleporters. Because we had like a, a boatload of teleporters I didn't even put my face through. Uh back in that facility. I want to see which ones connect. Because what I could do is just swim back once I uh, once I reach the, the top. So I'm just going to have like a, a small army of ion cubes and then we can just teleport around until we get one that's close to my surface space and then I'll just make the prawn from there. And then we'll walk back down. The only problem would be retrieving my sea moth would not be pleasant. Let's see, so what's powering the base? Is he using geothermal, nuclear, or bioplant? I'm using, um, I'm using bioplant. I've, I, it's, I don't have particularly high energy demand, so all I have to do really is just, uh, all I have to do for the most part is, is just, uh, chuck in some lantern fruit. If there were more, like, high-tech things that I, that I actually would have to, like, muck around with, I absolutely would consider having a higher power power setup, but I, I don't. <sighs> I don't wish I could actually just teleport from base to base, because then I could go get the problem like nobody's business. Or, you know, I could... I, I guess the other thing that would have been nice is if the Cyclops could... Uh, it could be kind of nice if the Cyclops could carry both the prawn suit and the sea moth at the same time. I guess if I really wanted to get them both down here, I could just drive this. Yeah. yeah. Let's go do that. Let's see. Nothing immediately pressing here. I'd like to mess with those teleporters, and I think we will. But why don't we why don't we get why don't we get our melons in here? Whoops. What do you do? What? No. Oh. Okay, so I wanna just eat melon. I've got a bunch of ion cubes. Inventory is about as full as it's gonna get. I've got power for days. Do I get more? I I could. I should. I think I will. I want to try running a bunch of thermal generators in the lava zone and run power to the transmitters in the safe shallows. That <laughs> sounds excessive. I like the sound of that, though. But that sounds real excessive. Okay. Right. The thing that I was going to do this entire time and totally forgot about, I wanted to make one of these. Polyaniline and four kyanite. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so what do, what do I need for polyaniline? What do I not have? Gold and hydrochloric acid. I need salt. Alright. Oh, acid mushroom spores. Well, that's easy. That's probably good enough. I could get more. I should get more. But I don't want to spend too much time trying to measure out exactly how many I need. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so we want to make... We should be able to make hydrochloric acid. Okay, good. So we can straight up, straight up make them. Uh, and then the other thing is just... Was it a wiring kit? I think it was just a regular wiring kit. 
and then however much kyanite I can grab. One. Oh, perfect. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to go through all of this is so I can actually charge this thing remotely so I don't have to go get uh, power constantly. It, it'll it charge itself on the surface, no problem, via solar char ugh, charging. charging. But the... Uh, But down here, no solar. Okay, so this will this will get us the thermal, which should just charge ambiently, I think, as long as we're in the caves. What do I need to upgrade it, though? Because I think there's a, there's a better version. Hey, we got it. All I needed. All right. We good? 